Okay, guys, Akumalo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update and finally a movement. Not a, a huge movement, something that we would love to see, but it's uh, it's something that is really starting to to show to to help us figure out what's happening. Again, I have uh, I have um, brought your guys' attention. Uh, I think two weeks ago to this cross to this bearish cross of the weekly chart and here we have we are below it we are below all oh, we are below the 55 and 21 EMA and we are forming we have been forming this nasty bearish pair because I can't see it otherwise and we are trying to break this line here okay this line that has been a support since since November right it's a it's a really strong support so we can't ignore this trend line here okay and we can't ignore uh this bearish cross here okay and and look at this guys look at the macd this is flattening and this is really weird see see this kind of when when you have a, a an indicator that's doing something like this it's it's useless okay you can't use the indicator anymore because it's just showing that nothing is happening even even when we <clears throat> even even when we have some kind of movement this kind of thing here only when we when we see a, a really significant movement is when we are gonna start seeing the the indicator showing something that is gonna tell us where the the the, the asset is going Okay, but this is this is of course this is a weekly chart, so it's it's uh, it's supposed to have some moments like this. But you see, this this happened here, right in 2007. This was May 2007 when we we had something like this. We we didn't have movement. The Easter Grand was ticking really low, uh, and then we saw that huge bump. But remember, what's the difference, guys, between here in July? Let me point out because this is important to understand one thing about MACD, for instance. Here is zero. Uh, it's roughly zero. This is actually negative. Let me show you guys where it's zero here. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can't. But roughly, oh, Jesus, my kitty is is messing with things here and uh, uh here is roughly but you guys understand this line here right uh, not really zero but here we are above zero this was the this this is the difference and it's a really huge difference because now we are below zero here and we are really bearish okay really bearish below zero here and we have been below zero since may this year okay we have crossed it yeah we crossed the zero and we are below zero since may so and yes rsi is below 50 which is another bearish sign and the obv here it's not really optimistic but it's showing the same pattern right the triangle this uh kind of huge triangle trying to to break to the upside or to the downside a and what I would say is that it's breaking to the downside uh, some of my friends uh, this is what's happening now right some of my analyst friends they have pointed out that it this is a really good count and I think that yes it's it would be a and ABC would be finishing this B, this C here. A, B, B would be here, I'm sorry. And uh, and we would have C here. No, actually, I'm sorry. This is A, this is, this huge structure here is B. Then it would have C, yes. This is A, this is B. This is A, B, C inside of B. So let me show you guys, it's A here, then we would have this structure here, oopsie, 
this structure here, this triangle is characteristic of a B. So, and, and we have here the 50%. It has, the, 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 the bit, Bitcoin has uh, hovering around this 50%. The 50% where I draw the, the FIBA retracement from this bottom line here to the top. We have been around 50%, so it's not coincidence. Okay, so this I would call a B. So then, and remember, this is the whole structure that we would call a B here. And that would be a running flat. Why? Because it's uh, the B is going beyond the level of A. Here is A. I'm sorry, here is A. Here's the beginning of A. And B would have, B, B, B would be here, where I put the stop loss, right? If we go beyond this level here, it's it's not a, a it's 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 a, it's it's the beginning of a, a new count. We would need to disregard this whole count here, okay? And then we have C. C might be just beginning, okay? This might be just the first leg of this B. Uh, I have drawn this. I invalidate this A B C D E, but I think that we need to. Uh, reconsider right this would be our a b c d e and then we, we would have breaking we would have broken sorry oh my kitty is driving me mad go don't do that <laughs> um so uh, this would be our a b then a c here d a breakout of d then C is not is, is, is not finished, not yet, okay? And uh, yes, we stopped exactly at the 7860%. So if you have a count where this is a 1, this is a 2, it's still on the table, okay? If you have a bullish count where we would have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Going up, going to the upside, okay? We have here some algo targets, minus 33, 60%, minus 38, 20%. So if we have a one here and a two here, this is not invalidate, not yet. We need to break below this, the level of this, the beginning of this A wave here to start considering this count as, um, even, if we, if we, even if we have this C here going to this level here, a running flat, okay? Because we would have an A, B, let me show the, the, the lines here. Show the wave, yes. This is a running flat, okay? If C finishes like here, if it fails to break this support here. And then a lot of people would consider this, could consider this uh, one, two, okay? That's, that's, the th that, that's the thing about Elliott waves. We have different counts, okay? You need to, you need to, uh, you need to account for this, for this, uh, for this characteristic, okay? And uh, I have proposed this count, right? This ABC I have proposed last week, um, and this is the daily chart, okay? Bit stamp. Remember, I told you guys that we would have something like ABC here. We would need to finish this E here, that we could finish. Right, so we have this A, B, this flat here would be our B, and then we would have this C, and then we would go up. Uh, what we might see, guys, is is this uh, is this going down like here? Okay, we would have a throw off, okay, uh, and then we would go up. So expect it to break it here. I, I'm expecting it to, to to somehow break those lines here. Okay, but so far we haven't seen anything like this. We, we are seeing some movement, but it's not really def definitive. Okay, it's only, it's all about probabilities, of course, but now it's a possibility that we might see a throw off here. Okay, I don't know. If it breaks this line here, and I would have my stop loss like here. If we, if we go below, guys, if we go below 6,000, definitely it's on a throw-off. 
We, this support here needs to hold this movement going down in order to be a throw off and then we would have a bullish momentum here. Okay, a bullish momentum. It's not a bullish breakout or a bull, uh, trend reversal. We don't know that yet. Okay, remember, as I have been saying, guys, we will need to go above this X here. We need to establish 12K, okay, in order to really be confident to call this uh, a trend reversal. Okay, and even so, even if we break 12K, it's not impossible to have, it's actually really likely that we would have an X that would really go higher, like here, and then dump again. Why? Because this X here failed to retrace at least, uh, let me show you guys, to retrace at least 50% uh, of this wave here, okay? This X failed. So this X would like uh, retrace more to go and, and uh, establish new lows, okay? We are in this correction for, I don't know, today's the 29th, so 317 days, so, uh, it's uh, uh, roughly 30, 32%, right? It's 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 enough. Remember, I told that it's at least 24% of the, the time spent during the, the impulse. But we never know. I think that we have a lot of interest in those targets here. This is strong support here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a Bitcoin going down to 6300. 5300 i'm sorry okay or even below we have another target here 4k 42 4200 who knows guys okay who knows it's up those are now we are talking about possibilities we we, we have some kind of a, a movement here this triangle that is likely to break to the upside okay it's likely i i would say it's a 80 percent chance if it goes really down and it disregard this movement here and do doesn't really care about going to the upside i would be really surprised this would be something that i would be like oh my goodness oh my goodness it's going to the downside black and breaking this support here and establishing uh, going below 6k again that would be something that i would need to reconsider this whole structure here okay of course it wouldn't be a uh, a, a whole different count but i will need to 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 re rethink some of my targets here but that's why we are here right to be open to new uh to, to be open to new options the market is always changing and that's what that's how we need to to react to the market always changing okay be water not stone <laughs> So um, basically, guys, uh, what I'm expecting now after this movement, I'm even uh, this is my exactly the same count, okay? Exactly. This is an A, B, C. Actually, yes. No, actually, I would count these as my A, right? But the, here is the micro counting, right? And here we have the A, B, C. Where we have a D here, A, B, C, D, you know, A, B, C, to finish this E. Okay, this wave here would be E. So we have D here. Then we have a A, B, and a C. <clears throat> a running flat to finish this E. He, e would be here. Even if we go below 100% here, if we don't break, guys, 6K, it's okay. We might just go to this line here. Let me think about it. 6K here. If we just touch 6K and then again, or we have a double bottom here with the beginning of this A wave here. That would be our E wave here. And then we would go up. Okay. If this is indeed what's happening. Okay. We might see something like this. I want to three. Three would be below here and four and five. What, what, what is this, guys? If we have indeed, if we don't have an ABC, if this is not corrective, but this is impulsive, which I don't think it is. Okay, I propose this 
as a, a motive impulse wave down, but I don't think it is. Why? Because it's 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 not it's a weak movement. We need to break the support and break the support really easily in order for this to be a wave three. But what really looks like it's it's not a wave three of a such a higher degree like this. Okay, it might be a wave three of this one, two, three of this C here. It's different. It's totally different. When we have a wave three of a lower degree like this, and when we have a, a wave three of a higher degree that would need to establish new lows. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm expecting. Okay, I'm expecting for this um, for this uh, C to stop somewhere around 6K. Okay, or stop at this support here. It's, it wouldn't be a surprise if we have a running flat. Okay. So, uh, what is this invalidate this ABCDE? Because I have yesterday a different ABCDE, I was counting it differently. It was really, uh, it was looking uh, like an ABCDE, and we would have another leg up, and then we would go down. Let me see if I can see here at my. You see, guys, this was my count. A, B, C, D, E. Then I considered that we would have something like this, and then the market did something different. Okay, having, I have, I, I proposed this uh, pitchfork, this inside pitchfork. This was my on my Twitter. So, invalidate this ABCD. This was your stop loss. Okay, if, simple. If you were in a short position, okay. But if you were in like, a, you know, going against the trend this would invalidate okay but there was my target i would enter here and we 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 haven't we haven't touched these targets here so nothing is lost that's the thing i don't enter okay i don't enter and if this is the case if this is really definitely going down i'm gonna uh retrace it and i'm gonna enter it here Okay, so this if if this is going down like really going down, we would expect some kind of retracement to those levels here. Fifty percent here is what it would be six three hundred, okay, and then we would go up and we would go deeper and deeper. Okay, so we have the targets here minus thirty three sixty percent minus thirty eight twenty percent minus six one eight. So even if we have indeed this is a one two. Perhaps we would need to go like here. This would be our wave two. Yeah, six three hundred would be our retracement. Okay, if this is a wave three, then this those are the targets. Okay, yeah, roughly we have this support here that would really act as a strong support, and then we would go up. Perhaps if we indeed have this C wave here instead of a one two three four five going down like this. Okay, uh, it, yes, we have two options and it's unclear what we have. Based on this price action, I would, I would say that this is way more likely, uh, ABC, okay, like here. We are within the triangle yet. We are not out of, triangle, of the triangle. We are not. We stopped at here. We stopped at the bottom line. We haven't had... Uh, strength selling pressure to break it see the RSI here see the MACD of course the MACD, disregard the MACD but the RSI is it, it has stopped exactly at the bottom line so it's everything the same we are within this range this nasty range that we have been throughout the September right remember this is bit Phoenix but this is the range right we try to break, of course, this is the, the week that I am disregarding, but try to break this 50%. One, two, three, okay, we broke it here, but we then had this huge rejection. And again, we are within this range here of, uh, since this is post September, we are in, it's a range of 2%. Look at this. This is the range, guys, okay, that I would like to point out. It's uh, that remember that support 6150, 6150, and the upper resistance here that is 
6850. Remember 6850. This has been a really historical resistance. We have tried to break it many, many times in the past. So this is the range, guys, since September. Okay, we are now at the end of the October and are we gonna break 6K? That's why I'm calling 6K as a really strong support. Because if you break down this, this uh, level, 6100 actually, right? If you break to the downside, we need to break 6100 with confidence and with volume. Then we would start to consider a different count. Uh, no, we would need to consider actually a wave three and we need to wait for a retracement in order to enter a short, okay? So far, I wouldn't enter. I wouldn't enter a short now because remember we were we were waiting. I was waiting to see something. I, I was we I I personally was waiting because I, we need more data. Now we have a little bit of data here. It's this huge. After this long week of indecision, we have this this candle here. Let's see how the the daily chart is gonna end. And then we talk about it later okay so guys thank you very much for watching if you like my my content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't joined us in our discord group it's crypto trader educational institute and it's it's a it's a source of information and free content it's always a pleasure to have new guys there helping us and if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be, it's gonna be wonderful to have you guys there. Okay, thank you very much. Have a wonderful week, and we we'll see you guys later. Cheers.